up to the bar. I got my little duck friend coming. Here he comes. I call him Duckford. Come on, Duck. Okay, we had church this morning, had a good teaching. Shirley. She taught. What are you looking for, Dougie? Where are you going? What are you doing up there, huh? What are you doing up there? Huh? What are you doing? I'm going to show these people. He's still a little skittish. He's not real comfortable. Don't fly. Where are you going? Are you going to take off? You're going to take, you're going to fly out of the barn, huh? I might take off in a minute. Pretty. We had three. One of them got killed by a bobcat a couple years ago. The other male flew away a couple years ago. I actually learned how to fly and he left. He actually came back, oh, about eight months ago, and uh, come back, and we was all happy to see him. He'd been gone for a year, year and a half, and uh, he was under my sister's car, and about three days after he got back or so, uh, she was backing out to take the kids to school and ran over him, so uh, we're left with this one. And I'm thinking he's going to fly to the barn. Just going to try to get it on video. Cleaning himself. It's kind of raining right now, so. I call him Duckford. My dad calls him Duck, I guess. But uh, I don't know what kind of duck he is. He's a farm duck. That's what we call him. I don't farm duck. <laughs> yeah he's got some really white feathers I would like for him to fly I guess he's kind of taking a bath in the uh, rain. Got a lot of ticks on me this year. Probably at least 20 so far, 25. They're really bad this year. There's, there's, they're getting worse every year, I think. It's a big duck. It'd be good eating if I wanted to eat him. But he's a pet. He's been around a long time. Bobcat got a hold of him around his neck one time, and uh, it took him a long time to get recovered. He's got a little bit of scar tissue there. I don't know how I got loose. I figured it was a bobcat. It might have been an eagle. We have some bald eagles around here now. But you can see that skinny spot around his neck. I mean, they got a skinny spot anyway, but where those feathers aren't there, that's where the uh, thing got him. And he was stiffened up pretty good for a while. I'd like to see if he's gonna fly. As soon as I take the video off of him, he'll take off, I bet you. This is probably going to be a 10 minute video about a duck.
What are you going to do, Ducky? Huh? Once you go on and fly so I can show these people you fly. He flew up to the pond and he came back. He's really skittish, but he's comfortable around me, so. I can't get too close, though. Even if I get close, he takes off, so. I feed him a lot. I hear some more rain coming. So we're in eastern Kentucky. I don't mean to be frowning, but it's kind of bright out here. Look how pretty it is. Gorgeous place. Bird there. So what are you gonna do, Ducky? You gonna take off? You gonna take off flying or what? I'd say you're clean enough. This video is getting kind of long. If you could go ahead and if you could go ahead and take off. Are you liking the attention, duck? Look at them claws. He's got some good claws. Pretty good claws. I wouldn't want to mess with him. What are you gonna do? You gonna do anything? Stay on, he's gonna stay on the truck. I'm gonna leave you alone. I don't guess he's going to go anywhere. That's a turkey. Anyway, love the Lord. Today's Sunday. Take a break. Do something good for your neighbors.